What's goody? What's goody? I just wanted to make this quick video. Eh, it's not going to be quick. I lied. Uh, I just wanted to make an intro video to um, my working out. Uh, two months going until I turn 38. This first six months of this year have been very difficult. Uh, just trying uh, to stay healthy. In January, mid-January, I had a really bad back spasm where I couldn't work out. I couldn't train for two and a half months. Um, then after that, I dislocated and tore some ligaments in my right thumb. Then that was in March. And now at the end of May, beginning of June, um, I cracked my elbow, my funny bone. Nothing funny about it. But um, when I was on my back, to start out, I couldn't work out. It was tough for me because I've always been in shape and I've always been able to go to the gym whenever I'm trying to, you know, shake off some type of negativity or anything. Now, I was alone with my thoughts. And that was difficult for me. But, you know, saying I took it one day at a time. I took it one day at a time where I had to just mentally encourage myself. And I just knew it was going to get better. Um... Uh, I weighed about, at that time, I want to say 99 kilos, almost 100 kilos, because I was training every day. But then when I hurt my back, I lost a little bit of weight. But then I got better. I started gaining the weight back. Then I hurt my thumb. I couldn't train as much. So I, I was working on my left hand for my basketball classes, basketball training. So that was good. But then I hurt my left elbow. And so it just seems like I kept getting all these nagging injuries. Now, I've never been one to, um, I guess, be out of shape or, you know, for me, um, that was just being, that was just the way I was. I, I was always skinny. I've always been skinny, but it was different because I didn't have my definitions, my cuts. Um, I was smooth. <laughs> uh, so I didn't have a lot, of, I didn't have a lot of the cuts that I was used to looking in the mirror on my, my six pack was actually gone. It's not that I gain weight, but when you're on your back for two and a half months and you can't do a single ab workout, uh, my, my eating habits didn't change. Uh, I went from, I'll say, eating four to five meals a day to eating three meals a day consistently. Um, I couldn't get up to do early morning cardio. Uh, once again, couldn't do anything active to get that sweat in because I, I couldn't, couldn't do anything for those two and a half, three months. Uh, then I got started again, and then with the el with the thumb, with my thumb, I wasn't able to. Uh, now I couldn't lift my upper body, so now once again I was still starting from scratch, uh, lifting my lower body again, making sure that my back was right, so I could do back exercises on the yoga ball, Bosu ball, uh, and then I could do like light stretching. And then after that, then I hurt my elbow in a freak accident. Now I can't train my upper body at all because I can't push anything. Uh, so I have to find different ways now to be more creative. And that's one of the things that kind of made me sad, made me upset uh, this year is because I couldn't get to the training like I wanted to. So now my goal is just to get to when I reach 38 in about two months, uh, just be in better shape than I was at the beginning of the year. That's not necessarily... For the weight gain, um, but to just to get some of my definition backs, get some of my cuts. So I've switched up my style and working out. Normally it was um, some power, was majority power uh, for my size, then a little bit of speed. But now I think when I do my speed workouts, be more of the CrossFit type workout where now it's more for time, not necessarily reps. Um, and then I'll still have my power workouts uh, one to two times a week, speed workouts one to two times a week so i'll alternate days so in that way i'm still getting my four workouts in but then my training is a little bit different so that's going to have to be my cardio um or that will be part of my cardio right now because i can't play basketball games i hate running on treadmills i hate going for jogs i think about it all the time let me go for a jog but i just i can't do it i've always hated running but i love playing basketball that was my cardio so now i've I'm thinking that my speed days will kind of be my cardio um, while I can't play. I might end up running some lines or something just in the gym. So that way I feel like I'm not running for miles just outside. 
Um, but in the gym, I can run for days. So I think that's my, what I might do. Uh, one of the goals is that I've always did, did a dunk. No matter how minuscule the dunk was, I've always just wanted to dunk for my birthday. About 6'2", two, two and a half. Um, I've never been a dunker. I've been able to dunk, but I've never been a dunker. And so last year, amazingly, which was crazy, being 37, I threw down my first windmill dunk. Like I said, I'm not a dunker, but I dunk on you. I threw down my first windmill dunk. Um, my two feet is getting better. I want to get back to my one foot so I can be a little bit more creative. So I don't know what type of dunk I'll do, but I feel that if I continue to train the way I am, and I could do, it, I could definitely do it, a different kind of dunk. Um, so yeah, going forward, I'm gonna give you guys everything for the workouts. What I do, um, eating will be a big part of that. Three to five. Um, leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to show what I eat. I still might show you guys what I eat regardless. Um, so that way you know how many times I eat. I snack a lot. I got a lot of snacks. Um, do I count my calories? I've always been a skinny guy. Um, and like I said, I do a lot of activities. I, I have classes and everything. So I burn a lot of calories. Uh, do I count my calories? No, I'm not into that as much. Uh, I used to count my calories when I was doing my fitness shows. Uh, but I don't do those anymore. So now I have a good aesthetic of what I like to look like when I look in the mirror and everything like that. So I know how to c grind towards that without counting my calories. But I haven't had McDonald's like since my back injury. Literally, I haven't had McDonald's. I'm working on my balancing with basketball. This is very difficult for me because I have bad ankles. Uh, my knees are not so good. So this is definitely something that I try to add in every workout now, some type of balancing with basketball or just balancing in general with weight. As you can see, I'm definitely unstable. I think my right leg is a lot better than my left leg just because my ankles, both ankles are bad, matter of fact. Both ankles are bad. But I think my right leg is a little bit stronger than my left leg because I've had two knee surgeries on my left leg, only one knee surgery on my right leg. So definitely was a struggle for me. Right here, I'm working on my jumping, split jumps. Quick touch down, quick jump up. You know, trying to get my speed back. Just, just continue to watch my ankle on this. It's definitely a struggle for my left leg. It was a struggle on this one. You can see the unbalancedness instantly as I try to go up. So I definitely gotta continue this work as I'm doing this for my left leg. Say hi to somebody that just walked into the gym. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely good. Once again, you can see how much weaker my left leg is. But I definitely try to train them exactly the same. It's just two knee surgeries on the left, one on the right over time. Uh, I think that just continued to make my left leg weaker, which my left leg was actually stronger. That was my dunking leg. Now I jump off two feet. So we're going to continue to work towards that. Okay, these are like my split squats, not a lunge squat, but just a split squat. Uh, I use the the safety safety bars because I'm definitely still unsure about my back at this point. You know, um, this is a little bit of lighter weight for me, 
um, the resistance bands just to give me a little bit of resistance. But as I say, I use the um, safety bars to help me uh, guide it down. But now later on, this became a problem because I got used to having the safety bars. Calf raises, definitely gonna hit some calf raises. Uh, trying to focus on each part of my leg, each part of the movement, all the way down, all the way up, and have a hold up at the top. Getting some jump rope in. Um, I gotta bring it back. I gotta bring back some jump rope. You know, uh, just the quick landing, quick touches from my feet. Uh, it's definitely good. I mess up a lot. And it's okay to mess up. I'm showing you all that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Definitely when you're trying to get started, you're not going to be the best at it. Which is very frustrating because I remember where I could jump rope for 10 minutes and not mess up once and not get tired. But you always got to start from somewhere. And this is that part of the journey. Just continue to stay positive, get back into the rhythm. Now, normally I would take off my shirt and jump some ropes so I could see my muscles. But as I said, I'm very smooth at this point, so I'm very self-conscious right now of me taking off my shirt because I'm used to having all of those cuts. So the shirt remains to stay on. My check, my check. All right. Today is Monday, June 13th, about 2.30. Just finished my first official workout. Um, 37 going on 38 uh, trying to do trying to get back in shape for a brand new dunk I've never done before last year was a windmill uh, as minuscule as what people are doing today but I think at 37 if I could do something nice I don't know what it is yeah I got some ideas but we just training so today was a power day um, 15 12 10 8 uh, 15 is usually just to warm up the barometers uh, seeing what I could do, um, then I kind of add, then I add weight, or then I add two at each time. Uh, my straddle squats, uh, the same amount of weight that I did on those, I did on my calf raises. Uh, I just want to try to be even. I don't want to try to be more powerful in one area. So I'm giving myself two months. Like I said, today is June 13th. I'm giving myself until my birthday, August 18th. So that's two months and about five days here. Uh, so day one was definitely, definitely good as you see, dripping sweat. Um, so I think I'm gonna vary, I'm gonna vary my workouts. They're not just gonna be all power and jump. Uh, I'm gonna do like a CrossFit type where that's gonna be my endurance to give my longevity in my legs. Uh, so that way I can do more than one dunk. Uh, so I'm gonna alternate between the CrossFit days, uh, CrossFit type days and power days and they're definitely throwing some rest days. After each workout, I'm like I'm about to do today, I'm gonna stretch, do some yoga type uh, stretching, uh, stretch, stretch, eat, rest, and then stretch before I go to bed again. So day one in the books, hope you enjoy the workout. Here we go.